Okay, so question eight. We have the area of the rectangle is 68 uh, centimetres squared. We know the base and we need to find the size of an angle. Um, so first I'm going to think about the area. Now I know the area of a rectangle is base times height. So I've got to work out what the height is here. So I know that 16 times the height has got to equal 68. So the height is 68 divided by 16. Now once we have the height, we can work out the angle. Now this is a trigonometry question. And the way I know it's a trigonometry question is because I have a right angle triangle and I want to find a missing angle and I've got some of the lengths. So here's 90 degrees, so it's trigonometry. So what I do with trigonometry, first of all, is I label the sides. So the longest side is the hypotenuse, so I'm going to label that H. Opposite depends where the angle is. Now the angle I want is over here, and opposite that is the height. So H, that's the opposite. And the adjacent is the other side, the one that's left. Now if I write down so Toa. I've got to pick which of the formulae to use. Now I want the formula that has O in because I've just worked that out. <laughs> I've worked out that the opposite is 4.25 um, and I want the formula that has A in because I know that the adjacent side is 16. So the formula that has O and A in is the tan formula. So tan x X equals the opposite, which is 4.25, divided by the adjacent. So the reason I write my form, my Sokotoa like this, is to remind my students that it's the middle letter divided by the last letter. So cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, sin is opposite over hypotenuse. But I'm dealing with tan. So to work out x, what I've got to do is I've got to do the inverse tan of 4.25 divided by 16. So let me just quickly do that. Inverse tan of 4.25 divided by 16. Making sure that your calculator is in degrees. So it should say D at the top of your calculator. Mine doesn't yet. Um, so I'm going to, have to do it again. The inverse tan of 4.25 divided by 16 gives us 14.9 degrees. Correct to our decimal place. Question 9 is asking which number is not in standard form. And the one that is not in standard form is this one. How did I know? Because standard form, the first value has to be between 1 and 10, and that's less than 1. Okay, so this question is about finding the mean, and they've been really kind to us here because they've set the table up and everything. So, to start with, I'm going to find the midpoint of all these groups. Now, halfway between 0 and 5 is 2.5. Now, if you didn't know that, what you could do is you could add 0 and 5, and then you could half it. Halfway between 5 and 10 is 7.5, and, and halfway between 10 and 15 is 12.5. So, I'm going to write in the midpoints. Now, it asks for... Um, yeah, the mean. So I'm going to continue here. Now this last column, I'm going to do the midpoint times the frequency. So it will be 2.5 times 11. So that one's going to be 27.5. Then 7.5 times 7. So that's going to be 52.5. And then 12.5 times 2 which is 25. Can't believe I just used my calculator for that. <laughs> then I add together that column. Now when I add them together, I get a total of 105. So what I'm saying there, I mean it is an estimate, I'm saying that these, these men, these 20 men, collectively spent two, 105 pounds. So the mean. So the mean is when we add up all the money and we have, that's 105, and we divide that by how many men there are, and there are 20 men. Some people divide by the number of groups here. Please be careful not to do that. It's divided by the total frequency, and in this case, that's the number of men. Now, when I work that out, I can see that on average, that men spend £5.25. 
So let's make sure I've answered this question. It's talking about the mean amount given by women. Compare the mean amount given by men and women. So I'm going to have to add here, um, on average... Women donated more money per person.